Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. This is BK from CocoZeni.com. In this tutorial, I will be showing you how to make a wine holder, which some people also call a wine carrier or a wine coaster or bottle coaster. This is the, the continuation of my series of using an old denim to make different kind of things at home. So let's get started. I'm using the remaining denim that I used in the previous tutorial for making a travel pouch and a cosmetic bag. I will link the tutorial below. So on here you're measuring 7 inches by 13 inches. We're cutting out two pieces for this and we're using it as the main fabric. We'll be using another material for the lining of the wine holder. When you're done, you cut out the handle. I'm using 11 by 7 inches for my handle, but you can use whatever measurement that you want. I'm also using this old fabric of mine. It's a pieces that I saw in one of my baskets. I'm going to use it for my lining of the wine holder. So I will use the measurement that I use for the cutout denim. And I'm just going to place it on it and cut it out. I'm also cutting two of the lining. Here it is. I have two pieces 13 by 7 denim and two pieces 13 by 7 lining. And I also have the holder which is 11 by 4. So I'm going to go ahead and on a car on two corners of each of this of the denim and the lining, I will measure a box or a square which is a it which is one and a half inches on one of the sides. Of the angles just like so After finish marking out those squares, I'm going to go ahead and cut it out. So I'm going to cut each of the denim and I'm also going to cut each of the lining. Thank you. 
with the right side together after you're done cutting you now sew the two sides and also the top side of the cutout angles you will be you will be sewing with quarter of an inch seam allowance Here, we, here is what it looks like after I got done. I've sewn the top part and also the sides of both the denim and the lining. And um, what we'll, we will do next is we will grab the corners of the cutout holes or cutout squares then we will join it together like so and then we will go ahead and stitch at a quarter of an inch we'll make a straight line to join it together And make sure you're joining each of the open squares on both the denim and also on the lining too. Here is what it looks what it looks like after I got done joining the cutout part, the squares, on both the denim and the lining. Then go ahead, lay it flat on the table, turn the lining inside out to the right side. Then you're going to put it inside the denim. Look for the side seam and make sure this, each of the seams are on each other. The seam of the denim and the seam of the lining, like so. Then pin them together. Make sure you pin it all around and align the seams too. You're going to do this until, I mean all around on that opening that we have, then you will get to a point that you have to open up uh, an inch and a half or two inches so you're not going to sew everything all the way around but you're just going to leave an opening to use in turning the lining I'm done joining it and I'm leaving a little space in between there so I'm going to grab that opening that I have that I'm going to use it in turning out both the right side of the lining and the right side of the denim like I'm doing right now When you're done, push in the lining into the denim like so. Then you get the opening and tuck it in. Use a pin to hold it. And you can also use a pin to hold the remaining part aligning the, the lining to the denim. Because you're going to do a top stitch just to secure the lining to the denim. Here is the finished stitch 
sewing it together or the top stitch so grab your handle and fold it with right side in then you're gonna go ahead and stitch around it quarter of an inch then when you get into the middle you leave a space like one and a half inch or two inches just like so see I've stitched around it and I'm stopping in the middle leaving uh, two inches space in between I'm going to use this space to turn it out Once you're done and the corners are poked out, go ahead and top stitch around it. I have top stitch around from one edge to another, all around the rectangle. And the mistake I made is that I should have clipped out the edges before turning the right side of the denim out because this is making it a little bulky right now but if I had clipped the edges it wouldn't be this bulky grab the tote and take your handle on the same corner you place one side of the handle on the same side of the tote and also the other angle on the other same side of the tote. Then you go ahead and make a, a rectangle and sew it around. I'm done sewing it and here is what it looks like after I got done. It's like a rectangle on the two sides. And um, that is it guys that's the end of the wine holder or a wine tote I will say it's that easy I will be making another method of sewing this wine tote with the reversible sides in my next video thanks for coming over if you like this tutorial give it a thumbs up if you're new to my channel don't forget to hit the subscribe button and if you're a returning subscriber thank you for coming back and um, I will see you in the next tutorial stay blessed bye